Hello everyone! Well, welcome to Frenchie's channel. I'm France Martin. Most people know me by Frenchie. I've uh, been a demonstrator for 19 years. This month it's going to be 19 years, believe it or not. That's quite a long time. And when we get a new catalog, I love to do the walkthrough. So I'm going to share many tips along the way. I'm going to finish the live with uh, a little, uh, I don't know if I can say stamping or a card making, put it that way. Uh, the catalog is just started yesterday. It was the kickoff yesterday. I couldn't do the live yesterday. I had my team meeting. It's always the first Tuesday of the month, and I try to keep that in stone. So that's why I push it to today for the walkthrough. So uh, this is the catalog. You're going to see all those notes there. That's for the, the walkthrough, okay? Um, it's not my wish list or what I have or it's what I'm going to talk about. So you can see it's a lot of it. But um, from the past, the experience in the past, I get the best um, feedback from my ca catalog walkthrough. Many people say that they didn't know about this or that. So if it's not the first time you join me on the walkthrough, maybe some of the stuff it's going to be repeat for you, but it's a refresh to remind you about it. And if it's the first time, well, I'm sure it's a lot more I can talk about. I could talk about it for hours. I'm going to try to keep it, hmm, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, we'll see. Um, so when um, about midway, we're going to have a door price. We're going to have two, well, door price, screen price. How can you uh, partake in that? It's only one comment per person. So uh, it's no use to say hello, 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 hello. It's one, the way it enter, and uh, but ask all the question you want. The only thing about YouTube Live, you have to be logged in to write a comment. When it's live, you have to be logged in with your Google account. I don't control that, okay? So uh, the first drawing we're gonna do it's the in color of last year, a pack of cards, the gold trim cards, and wait for it. Ta da! It's a card bin, but it got my voila. Me, where I get mine? Well, you see, I get one back there. That's where I put my massive uh, thing. And also, I get one by my uh, die cut machine. So it's perfect. Some people like it on their desk. So that's going to be the first price. And then uh, at the end, I am giving away. It's a kit. And that is the all-inclusive kit. So that you knew or whatever. It's, um, it's a card pad. And you get the everything. The stamp set the little anchor uh, spot ink, everything in there. And that will be at the end. Okay, I think we are ready to roll. I see the number coming up. So welcome, everybody. I'm excited for you to be here. Uh, first thing, I didn't ask. I assume it's okay. Uh, can you hear me good? That would be awesome. I should ask that first. And then I'm going to flip uh, the camera. So as you we go along, if you take note and do a wish list, make sure you listen to what I'm going to say towards the end. If your wish list is over $99, you really want to uh, maybe join my team, put it that way. It's no string attached to that. But right now, you pay $99 and you get $155 of product. If that is not for you, we get another uh, promotion. It's order of $250 and above before tax and shipping. You get an extra $25 in stamping rewards. I know stamping rewards it get confusing for many. Uh, they think they have to host a party. Absolutely not. We're going to go through that at the end of the catalog because that's where it is. Okay, so let's flip this down. Here we go. So before we get started, I got uh, what it's called. Uh, um, <laughs> let me think. 
and I want to make sure it is clear on YouTube too. So this is the label, and this is our customer appreciation. I am sorry if some of you ask for it that, you know, not shopping, you're from another country and so on. This is something we offer as a team, customer appreciation. So no, I do not sell them, okay? Uh, I know many people already emailed me and so on. We don't sell that it's a token. Say thank you for the one that keep uh, keep me in business or for the team also can use that in their business. So it's a token of appreciation. Okay, it looked clear at this end. That's just what I wanted. It's a little bit of glare, but I think that is, it is what it is with the lights. So, um, okay, so what are those labels? So you get the label for the stamp set and you get the labels for the dies punch and embossing folder so let me share what is uh, so sweet about that so for the die it's going to give you the name of the die it's going to give you the number uh, after a few years doing that people asked me to put the catalog uh, what catalog it was so ac it's annual catalog 21 22 um no <clears throat> Here we go. And then you get M. If you get the abstract with the M, that means all the dies in this fill, fit in the mini. If you don't have the M, that means it's at least one die in there that do not fit in the mini. So the minute you grab the die, you know if you get both machine, you know if you can use it in the mini or not. It tells you how many dies in it. So when you put it away, you want to count them because how many times that you forget a die and then you're like, oh my goodness, where is that die or where does it belong? I know that the die thing, let me uh, pull this up. So this is the thing. But if you're like me, if you can see that little number there, bless you and say, thank you, Lord. I got good vision. Because even with my glasses, I have to really force those eyes to work to see that. So at least with the die, with the label, you can see them. So you get 13 dies. It tells you the largest die. And also, it's going to tell you if it coordinates with something like this, the middle. It coordinates with the quite middle. So you get that for the dies and then the stamp set, it gives you the name and it gives you what page it is in the catalog because sometimes you want to see uh, the sample in the catalog so you don't have to look at the index or so on. You grab it, it's there. Now, if it match with something, if it coordinate with a punch or whatever, it's going to say coordinate with artistic die, this one. And it's part of the expression in ink suite so it's an awesome tool absolutely awesome tool to uh, get organized in your craft room that is my customer appreciation for this month i should show you a punch too so like a punch it's going to give you the name of the punch the number the catalog also all see the catalog and it's going to tell you if it's coordinate with something if it don't coordinate, it won't say, but like this one also, coordinate with and what page it is so you can see the sample. So that is all for the product stamp set, uh, stamp set die, punch, and embossing folder. So with the hostess code that you see at the top, the 6CCDQAAQ, if you place an order on my online store with that hostess code, you will get the download. I'm going to send you an email. You're going to have the link for the downloads. Uh, it's only with $20. So any $20 and above with the hostess code, you're going to get the download. If you order it's $150 and above, don't, do not enter the hostess code. You will get the stamping rewards, and also I will send you the thing. You have to enter the hostess code only if your order is below 150
Now, if you look at my um, um, blog today, I give you the link for the recipe. What is the recipe? So let's say in the catalog, I don't know which page I, okay, page 17. Let's go page 17 here. This is all important stuff before I start. Okay, I, you don't see, but I got a mark where to put my catalog so you guys can see properly. Here we go. So on page 17 in the catalog, you look at this and you're like, mm, I'm wondering where that sentiment is from. Or I'm wondering what color they use on that card. Uh, I'm wondering what that is and so on. Well, you can pull the recipe. It's like a recipe book, right? And it tells you on page 17, it shows even the picture. It tells you everything they use, the stamp, the paper, the ink, the tool, the embellishment. And sometimes it gives you a little bit of instruction. Here it said the technique was masking. And again, this card here, they give you all uh, those details. It's not the step-by-step, -step, but it's the recipe. A recipe, it's uh, like what they use for it, okay? So that is free to you all. So you just have to download it, or you can come at any time. If you uh, cannot remember where it is, right at the top of my blog, I got... Let me share with you where it is. Oh, I lost my page here. Right at the top of my blog, you get a chart stamping 101. If you click on that, then you're going to have the printout chart. It's all under the printout chart. If you're on the a mobile device, it's going to be the three hamburger to get all that menu there. Okay. So at any time, you can go there and get the recipe. Next thing, it's the awesome, awesome color coach. I did a color coach club before with all the color, stepping up refresh with the new in color. So you get all those uh, color. So before we get started, let me introduce you to the new in color. We got the soft circulant, uh, evening evergreen, papaya, a pale papaya, uh, pink, 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 polished pink, and fresh freesia. So that's the new color of this year. So I did this card here to show you. I thought, hmm. What a better, it's nothing better than the stamp set that I use to share those new in colors. The stamp set that I use, I bet you can guess it, it's the one and only stamp set for my million dollar. It's called After the Storm. So I use this and this to do the starburst. Some of it I used the little dots, some of it I didn't use. Like this one, I didn't use the little dots. This I did see the little dots also so it is an awesome set to do quick cards so that's the new in color this year now with the in color i told you about the color coach i won't go in detail on that i'm going to share quick because that all those printouts are all on my blog today so with the evergreen uh, so the first combo was the crushed curry and the shaded spruce. I got it right here. That's a new uh, stamp set also, the first one in the catalog. Uh, and then it was the one with the petal pink. I could have put the leaf in the pink, but uh, I mean in the green. I want it in the pink. And here is the one with the blackberry and the sarasan. So you see how lovely the color coach is. And I did that for all the in color. And then I got the uh, soft succulent right here. Don't worry, I'm going to have blog posts about that, okay? But I just wanted to share with you those awesome tools that it's on my blog and that it's free. What it's not free, it's the label that it's a customer appreciation. This is provided by Stamping Up and also the recipe book. 
So thank you, thank you, stamping up for providing us that. And here was with the polish uh, pink, the color coach. That you're gonna look at that, and you got some of the color. You're gonna see who in the right mind gonna use that. You're gonna be surprised. You don't judge the book by its cover. Do a card with the combo, and when judge it when it's done. You're gonna be amazed when it's done. And here is the pale papaya. See, again, that I use uh, my stamp set there, but I mix with all the color. See how this is just that bright sunburst. And that one with, uh, it was pale papaya, so saffron, and Mary Merlot. Is that fun? So sometimes you are stuck on color. Well, that's it. Now with the fresh freesia, I did with the ice cream builder. One thing that I want to point out, this awesome stamp set that it's on page 62 it's a new stamp set see the happy birthday on the long way ah that was just what i needed for this this one i used the thank you from the ice cream uh, set sideways but see the happy birthday on the long way not only that i bought this stamp set for the happy birthday on the long way i also bought the stamp set for me you uh, may your day be fill with sunshine well i think that coordinate very well with after the storm and that is what i use in this card here see in the center i thought that was perfect so that's a stamp set that uh the flower didn't uh, attract me but the happy birthday and this absolutely i know i'm going to do something with the flower and that little cute dragonfly but the minute i saw this stamp set i knew i wanted that for the center of those cards with my stamp set and also i love this style card so that was the color combo for the fresh fresh freesia okay so now i provide to you all that free stuff from stamping up now let's go through the catalog. So uh, I learned something just today. I think it's, uh, yeah, today when I was looking back through the catalog, make sure I could point out everything. I learned the word sip. Uh, sip for me, it's sip on coffee, sip on water. Talking about that, I will take a drink of water. But did you know also sip? in the stamping world stand for stamp ink and paper so it's kind of like a stamp on the go or a quick stamp but that's what it's stand for take a sip it's stamp ink and paper i thought that was fun okay now on page three if you get your catalog turn on page three all here you get all the sweets, okay? So the sweet, it's like a stamp. It can be a die or a plunge, and sometimes designer series paper. I'm gonna go through them, but if you wanna know where, what are all the sweets, they all listed over here on page three. And then you get a little bit more of the index there. I wanna print out something, not print, but. Also on my blog, you can go ahead and print your shopping list. I love what I done with the shopping list. I went in more detail. So you get all your sweets there. And then, I mean, not your suite. They tell you where to look for your suite, the stamp uh, style and so on. But then it gives you more detail. You get all in there. And here you get where you get your color, ink, paper, your blend, your coloring tool, your designer series paper, embellishment, memories and more, organized storage, packing basic, envelopes, punch, ribbon, uh, cutting tools, stamp and emboss, and the right marker. So you get everything that a lot of time we look for, it's right there. So that you can go and print well you print it maybe you want to print a few because i don't know if this is going to be long enough 
Okay, we will go page through page, okay? I, we're just going to go through uh, the basic or what uh, I think it's important to know. I, and I'm sure I forget this thing. At the bottom of page four, if you look at the bottom of page four, they give you the icon, what the icons stand for. You get the N. The N here, it's in gray, but throughout the catalog, you're going to see the N, it's in red. That means it is a new product or a new stamp or new, yeah, new product in this catalog. It was not in another publication before. You get the two little tulips side by side. That means it's a reversible stamp. A reversible stamp, it's like mountain air. Let me show you. I didn't grab mountain air. I, I grabbed a jar of flour because I want to share something else with that. So this one, you see, you get the plane on one side, and then you get the detail on the other side. So you can stamp on both sides so you can put it this way to get let's say like all the blue you want and then if you want detail you're going to flip it and you get all that that's how they can get more image on one stamp um, stamp set using both sides so that is a reversible one and you got uh you're going to have the emblem it's kind of two little tulip side by side that means it's a reversible stamp now you get the distinct uh, ink and my stamp set happened to be one of them uh, it's got kind of a chalk look to it it's not uh, it's not that detail it's more I, I think chalk look would be a, a good name for that now you get the one with the clock that means it's a quick and easy project so if you're you're looking for something quick or you're kind of new, that would be perfect to look for the clock symbol to know. And then you get the EN and FR, that means it's available in French and English. Now we get the color. Now let's keep on going here. What is the next page I get? Okay, kits. If you notice in the catalog, we don't have kits. Stamping Up is trying something new with kits. Right now, this month, uh, Demonstrator, we can purchase the kits that will be available. The kit will not be in the catalog. They're just going to be promoted online because they're going to change faster than the catalog stay active. They can maybe last two months. It can last eight months. We don't know. It depends how fast they sell, I guess. So the kits are really built for the new stamper. Even if you're an avid stamper, some of those uh, stamp I'm sure you're going to love, but really the kit is built for ready, uh, more new people. Like this, and some of it's going to be like from the past paper pumpkin, but you see one there, that flower was so pretty in paper pumpkin, and they're bringing back some of those kits. So don't be discouraged if you already got those stamps set and so on from Paper Pumpkin. Really, the kits are designed to find the new stamper. Because I'm sure many, when they start stamping and they look at the catalog, we get so overwhelmed. So with those kits, the way that they design them, it's really to get the new people a way to get started simple. So we will, uh, I will promote the kits uh, beginning of June. That's when the customer can buy them. Right now, only the demonstrator. That's another reason maybe you would like to join my team. We get access to pre-order a month in advance before customers. So it's a sweet uh, thing. Now, one of the, the first uh, suite, it's the beauty of Earth. Uh, that is beyond gorgeous, gorgeous. I got a few cards to share with that. So the suite, you got uh, the stamp, you get the dies, and you get the paper, and you get the bar 3D embossing. It's showing right there. We're on page 10 and 11, by the way. So this is going to be my Christmas card for next month. Around, you know, year round, I do Christmas cards. So that's going to be the one for next month.
or this month i don't know this month or next month i work so much ahead i don't know so i use that and let me share what i love about this stamp set you know that i love three but this really uh i'm gonna say make me pee my pants put it that way we had many trees in the past right lovely as a tree how lovely it was and so on but the trunk was attached with the three so you were stamping the tree trunk was green or you have to wipe it off or use a marker well this is the beauty of this the trunk it's separate from the trees and you can do all four seasons so this one i did a trunk right here see i didn't do as long i just put a post-it note there and if you can see you can even see the branch throughout the tree so it make it even more realistic and this one i didn't use any trunk because i wanted to show that it was in the bank of snow okay but this one i used the trunk also and you see i get this green and this is brown i was so giddy about this bundle you don't know how much beyond you didn't know now the paper it's beyond lovely the paper is um oh my goodness how pretty it is check that out it is gorgeous gorgeous and of course you get two-sided see that how pretty it is so and then of course you get the other side gorgeous paper so i use this paper here and i kind of did the card that it is over there so let me share that card et voila see i didn't stamp that that's just the paper is that wicked and then you get the big uh, trunk it's bigger in the dies there see that so cool so that was i this bundle speak loudly to me so when you buy the suite you get 10 percent discount on the stamp and the die or if it would be a punch you get 10 percent on that that you buy the suite or the bundle you get 10 percent if you enter the number the stamp set by itself and the die by itself it don't recognize that you wanted the bundle so you have to make sure that you use the bundle number or the sweet number to get that 10 percent now uh, here it's another distinctive ink uh, stamp see it give you the the emblem there the little uh, thing now here at the top it's uh simplify it or step it up see you get the clock right here very simple that's ink and paper no dice no punch no nothing extra here you step it up a little bit with a, um, the punch uh, no that's the die over there here they sponge the background of it they add different color on the flower and add more ribbon and then they emboss one of the thing in the back so like they say the choice it's yours so you can throughout the catalog you're going to have some of this going throughout the catalog now if you look through the catalog not only that i share with you where to get the recipe but at a lot of the place they're going to say like this card see they didn't use just this not just this sweet they also use the layer layering diorama die you see those funky shape that's what they use there but if you're not sure sometimes what they use remember you get the recipe book now i already talk about the reversible i went with the jar now not only that i want to share here i used to preach all the time what you see it's what you get what you see it's what you get exception of the background stamp set and the alphabet well that saying don't work anymore okay so if you pay attention to one thing tonight this is what i want you to pay attention to because we are so used to look at the catalog and what we see it's what we get 
Now, it is 18 stamp, 18 stamp throughout the catalog that they showcase at a different uh, a scale. Like this year, it showed the artwork, it's at 50%. All this, it's at 50%. See, it's not the true size. But this is at the 100%. So you see, that is, so it would give you a clue. So it is 18 stamp throughout the catalog, okay? So you don't have to guess which one it is. It tells you artwork show at 50%. At, it just going to tell you like where it should 100. All the rest that you don't have nothing like that, that means it's at 100%. The mountain air, see, you get the reversible tulip there. That means it's a reversible stamp. Both of them are reversible. But also this one, the artwork, it show at 50%. But then over here, it's that the 100%. So just pay attention through that because I know that I maybe, you know, I preached that for so long, but now I need to correct myself because this catalog, it's very different. Now, over here, oh, this one here, okay, I got it right here. So, here, they tell you, for quick sentiment, use the sticker from the memory and more cards. So, if you see right here, what they use, those memory and more cards, they're not just for scrapbooker, they're awesome for cards. I did many times, I did like a class with a pack of them and do one was 36 card and so on. See here, thinking of you with that nice little flower, that's what they got on that card. So those pa uh, memory and more pack, they at the end of the catalog, but see, you can chop that up and do some cards with that. And it's a two-sided. So it's not just for scrapbooking, okay? You can do lovely cards with that. And then those, this is all little decals. See that nice happy birthday? You just pop that up, put on your card. If you're on the brush sometime, you just use designer serial paper and that, boom, done. Or just discard and make a card. Okay, I'm going to point it out when we're at the end of the catalog today at the end, but I want to share with you that card right there. Now, while we're here, I, I want to point out, that's a repeat that I say at all time, but if you knew, you will appreciate that. When you see the cream color in the image, that means it match with a dye. And I'm going to point out what match with a punch. So then you know right away, without reading the description, you know right away, oh, it's a die that go with that. Now, see the end right here at the bottom of the page on page 25? I told you it was red. Yeah, you get an N, red, that means it's new. Here is another suite, the Pansy a Petal. That is another sweet. And again, look, the cream color, that means it's a dye. So this sweet here, you got the, the dye, you got the stamp, and you get the bumblebee trinkets. The bumblebee trinkets, right now, you cannot order the sweet. It's going to give you an error in the number. We are out, and the, the bumblebee are flying someplace. They're not at the warehouse yet. So that's why if you try to enter this number, it will not take it. You can still get your 10% by entering the bundle and entering the paper. Absolutely. It's the little bumblebee trinket right now. They're not available. Now, moving along. Oh, well, I had to make you stop over here, right? I want to point out the card that I will have a video month of June. It's going to be the customer appreciation. It's going to be about 20 more cards that you never saw with this one. This one will be part one of that. See how pretty it is? Yes, those clouds are the perfect mountain. So you're going to have the video on this. And we're going to have a block up to just on this set 
with my team. That's going to be our customer appreciation for the month of May. And um, I mean, the month of June, and you're going to have many, many more ideas. If you think I share a lot, I am not done. It's a very versatile stamp, very much so. Now, um, over here, see, again, you get the cream. Now, you see this stamping, this, this inktive stamp. That's kind of that chalk look. Now, again, here, this show that they're layering the uh, diorama right here. It's a popular die in the catalog, this. Now, we're going to flip this. That is the stamp set that I just shared with you. So I already share my sample. Oh, we, we skip page. We're going to go back. But that was Celebrate with Flower. I think that stamp set go very lovely with my stamp, but also that Happy Birthday, it's so lovely. Let's see what I forgot. It's a reason why I got a page here. Oh, yes. So here's another very good example. This, the artwork, it show at 70%. So it's not all 50% or 60%, and you have to look at the number. This is show at 70%, those two dies, uh, stamp set. But this one and that one match with the same mes message die. So one die fit with this, and the same die fit with that. How cool is that, right? Uh, when you're going to receive, uh, I just ordered them yesterday, Carrie, after the storm. So they're not even shipped yet. So soon they ship, they get here. I'm going to sign them off and off your way. But they're not, I mean, I order, you guys, are you ready? Over 200 after the storm stamp set for the class. So soon they ship, they're right here. All the cardstock, everything, it's ready to go. I just have to sign them and send it your way. So I'm hoping by mid-month, it's all done. So first, they have to deliver it here, okay? Now, let me, is that the next one? Yes, here we go. Now, what did I told you? Here's the punch. So some of it, it's almost the same cream color. It's a little bit lighter, but that's a punch. So the minute you see a image in that cream or light color that mean it go with something and here is the turtle that's the punch this year i cannot wait to play with that that's a spinner card see it go with the this die you can spin and have different message i cannot wait to play with that one i got many things on on my mind for that this lovely stamp set here, we're going to play with that tonight. Um, well, I, I use it. Here it is. Biggest wish. Let me bring you inside this stamp set. All the new photopolymer. Now, it's different the way that it's done. It's not just half a sheet like, uh, do I have one that? Okay, so like, you know, the red rubber is just, and before it was just like it finished at the end, the insert. Now, the photopolymer, the, it's a full sheet. Many people want it to be able to take their stamps and put it on um, their case. That's the way that they like to keep their stamp. Oh. So that's the way that they like to do it. So stamping up, listen, and then boom. So that's all. So then they don't fly out when you open. Okay. So I'm just going to put that there for now. So that's the new way that the photopolymer is going to come. And if you see, well, it's backward. Well, it have to be backward to uh, stick to this like this. Okay. So that's how it works. So you don't have a print on the paper or anything. It go right on your case. So that's the new way of the photopolymer. The, the photopolymer is still the same. It's just the way that it's packaged, okay? Now, if you join me tomorrow night, 
on um, live on uh, Facebook. I'm going to use that paper. Did I miss that sweep? Oh, another important thing here. I'm missing some flip there. One thing that I absolutely love, you know, all the bits and pieces when you come to die cut, when they're tiny, it's kind of tough. Well, some of them, they combine like those clothespin, you get two. Instead of having two little dies, they combine them. So see, the dies are in the two. So you can do that in two. Here, you get two image on one stamp, the die cut out two separated shape. So then those little pockets, it's two of them. So you stamp them and cut it out. The same with the clothespin there. So it's a few sets like that. So if you see a little line, that's what it may mean, okay? And it give you the detail there. So it's to speed up the process. Okay, I don't want to miss and by the way, if you guys qualify last month when you, uh, at the end of the month, I did the tab. My tab, if you see, it tells you exactly at the top in the color. Well, the tab come in different language. One set, you get every language. I send them all to you all, the one that qualify for them. And what I did, I use some, what I use a lot. So if you look at my shopping list, I put them and I write on top with a Sharpie on the other language. Some of them are plain, but then I needed more. So that's why I send it all to you and then you can write on them. So if you're wondering why you get different language, that is why. And here is the peachy too, see? These three flowers there, it's one stamp, and you can cut them out with one of the dies. So it's all set up, uh, less bits and pieces. It's going to cut the bits and pieces, but it's more on one. This lovely sweet, I started to play with that when I was doing the color coach. Well, that's an elegant suite, okay? It don't go with Granny Apple Green or it don't go with this. No way in egg that's belong together in my book. I try it, but I say absolutely no, no. That's going to be lovely with like gold and silver and copper and black and crumb cake and so on. Um, it is gorgeous. The paper is beyond gorgeous. Okay, the paper on one side, it's plain, okay? But check out that, all that beautiful, is that yummy or what? I know you get glare, but look at that copper and that silver, oh my, oh my. Very, very rich, very rich. I'm thinking anniversary card, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, very rich, rich, rich. Now, let me share. So this punch right there, this is the lovely punch. So you see, you can do it even longer. I'm going to share with you right now. You want some tip along the way, right? So um, let me, oh, I need a scrappy paper here. Okay, so if you punch it, see? That's it. Oh, well, come here, you. Okay, so that's the punch. Now, let's say you want that longer. I think it's two. Is it two? No, one and three quarter. One and three quarter. So cut this at one and three quarter. And now what you're going to do you're going to take this, flop it in here, you know what, I'm going to cut one air shorter than one and three quarters, so it won't be so tight, here we go, just a little bit shorter than one and three quarter, because when it's too tight, it's kind of stubborn, 
so I'm going to slide that here. Here it goes. If you go sideways, it's much easier. So now I can put that right there. Now you would have the choice like this. If you want to do like a border on the card or on a scrapbook, let me put that back sideways here. You just have to go in between the, the punch there. Here we go. Now you're going to put that. Oh, I got that paper there. Don't need that. Going to put that right here straight. Et voila. See, now it don't look like this, right? But if you can go at the bottom too, let me share just the bottom. So you're going to see it work the same at the bottom. So what did I say? Just a little bit short of uh, one and three quarter. So I went at one air above, one line above. So now I can take this, whoops, all those paper there, and I can do the same thing from the bottom. So instead of going at the top, and at the bottom it should be a lot easier because you don't have all those little bits and pieces. So you can go here, voila. So now I could have this at the bottom, you know. Or if you want to like this also, you can go there. But so this sponge, it's more than just that image. I see somebody put, put in the front. I want it very long. That's why I didn't do it the other way. So that's how this sponge, it's very, you can make many more shape than what you, it show. And again, it tells you that right there. By the way, we're on page 68, 69. And again, this sweet, so this sweet, it's with the punch. It's no die. It's the punch, the designer series paper, the stamp set. And then you get the, the trim also. Right here, you get the trim. Most sweet, it's about four product, okay? Okay, let me remove some of those paper. Time to take a little sip of water. Okay. And here is all the doilies. I call it the doilies, but really it's in in circle in friendship. All those die. Very delicate. If you like fancy delicate, that should scream at you. Now here is another simplify or step it up. Simple. They add a layer with the little uh, leaf in the back. Here it's embossed. They pop every bits and piece. And also they add color to it. So they give you different sample to do. Now here it talk about the distinctive ink also. It, uh, so it explain what it is. It's a stamp that create different up different tone put it that way i cannot say the word in a single stamp image so you stamp it once but you get the different tone it's like this lovely three here stamping once and you get two tones it looked like you use really two colors so that's what a distinctive distinctive stamp mean okay I got some at the bottom and some at the top. It's all for different reasons. And here is another sweet, the bloom sweet. And again, that you get the paper lattice. That is the paper. It really looks like a lattice. And it's quite a bit in that pack. I think it's a pack of 10. You get the designer series paper. You get the dies and uh, the stamp set. If you're wondering top and bottom, that is just for me, different thing I had to talk about. Now we got 
Christmas. They had stopped putting Christmas in the, the annual catalog for a few years, and we begged them, and they brought it back last year, I think, and this year. I absolutely love it. So now you get a suite for Christmas. That's the tidying and trimming with the stocking and so on. So that did come with the paper, the evergreen weave ribbon, uh, and then the dies and the stamp set. This lovely stamp set, I will use it with uh, oh, where did I put it? When I'm going to do my class, you know, uh, on the 15, I think it's the 15. Let me double check. It's not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Uh, that is, is it May 15? Yes, May 15. I'm doing, so the class that I send in the mail, the class with After the Storm, I will share all how to make those cards live. Anybody can attend. Uh, it's just that if you don't have the product, I mean, you know, but anybody can attend. And I'm going to have a bonus card, and it's going to be this, the bonus card. So uh, the three at the bottom that I used there, that uh, I think it was um, the wood, in the wood, I don't know. That stamp set, it's retired, so I'm going to use this one. I love the size of those trees. I know I love trees. I know. But yeah, so the 15, everybody's welcome to join, even if it's for the class in the mail. The video is going to be public, and this is going to be a bonus card here. Uh, that it's score, score confidentially, that it's in the mini catalog, but it's only available while supplies last. We know it's going to retire. It go perfect with that. Here is another example, the snowflake. There did show at 50%, but they showed the ward at 100%. The fifth is flurry, uh, foliage. It's at 60%. They give a circle. That's what it looked like. So you need to pay attention to those things. Very, very much so. And here you got, see, those three are not uh, in a different color. But you got the punch that coordinate with that. They're not quite the same size, but it coordinate with that. Okay. I bet you can punch on top of it. I don't have mine yet. Soon I get it. I know I'm going to use that. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. This is screaming me. I love it. Let me share you that paper tomorrow night. And that's what I'm going to use on Create on the Fly. And it's going to be a truly Create on the Fly because I get a lot on my plate. Uh, preparing for my class and so on but it's going to be a card using that and i plan to do uh, some thank you cards with that so you know i'm going to use a few packs but check that out you get the gold to it so it's a specialty paper check it out is that awesome so remember when i did this technique and i did it live but it's coming back up on one of my blog so it was a bit of work to do that so imagine kablooey, boom, 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 it is done for you. Is that the wicked paper or what? I say this is going to be on back order, I say soon. If I would have to guess, I would say so. Look at that marble of the gold in it. And then, and I don't like bright color, right? I think they're growing on me. This is gorgeous because I love watercolor. I love the messy watercolor look. Look at that. I'm going to chop that in, in section like a four by five and a quarter, put a layer, put my greeting, and it's going to be gorgeous. That paper is beyond amazing, amazing. I could just look at it all night long. I know I didn't win in detail with that with the other paper, but this one, I just cannot help myself. I can't. Look at that marble with the gold. Is that the sweetest thing? So if you cut this, then here you get place for a greeting without adding much to it. Maybe a ribbon if you want. I don't think you need much. Then this one, you flip it. You get the white at the top. Oh, my. And look at that. 
This one, it's really going to be a tough one. Which side to use, right? Look at this. You get all the goals in it. Oh, my, my. And then you get the stripe gold and then this peachy color like water drop. I think this paper, I don't know whose artist did that at Stamping Up, but oh my goodness, I give you an A++. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I mean, the other paper too, it's nice. But that one, it is my cup of tea. And this lovely stamp set, I just got it today. Oh my, I cannot wait to see what I can do with that. I cannot wait to put this together and play with it. It's screaming at me. Okay, so that bundle here, or this sweet, so the bundle come. Uh, oh, let me show the die with this. It's very different. So um, most of you, it's not a secret, right? I'm not a die person. I'm a punch person. So when it's die that it's very delicate and that, oh, I shy away from it. So look at that, how detailed that is. Look at the leaves. And then these, though, that's going to match with this here. See that it's the perfect match there. Oh, that go right there. Mm. Oh, does it go the other way? Because when it's reverse. It's the perfect match, okay? So that would match with this. Let me see. I think it's reverse. Oh, yeah. Mm. That go right there. So when you're going to stamp and reverse your image, those fit perfect, okay? That's this one. That's this one over here. And uh, then you get the little leaves there. You get the tiny one for there. So you get that, but you get the extra of those big ones. Very, very delicate. Very much so. So that is part of the suite. So the suite, you get the stamp set. Now, let me show you a trick on this. If you squeeze it a little bit and you go under and then boom. Okay. Okay, so where was I? Oh, okay, so the bundle in this on page 97, by the way, you, I mean, this week, you get that lovely paper that I share with you. You get the gold um, pack, all those element of gold. You get the stamp set and the dies. And that also, it's a distinct ink stamp set. Now, this one here, I got a few uh, sample because I had the teams, uh, not swap, but they did the color in color. And here is one. This was done by Susan. And see, it's a window. So Elizabeth won those cards. And I was supposed to go at the post office today, but I'm like, mm, I, it's going to go in the mail tomorrow, Elizabeth. I thought I need to share this tonight. So that is done with this. You get the dice we're going to use this die tonight it's the uh, da, 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 da. this is the die so it's the scallop contour and we're going to use this big die tonight at the end i'm going to have a, a lovely card and then this was lisa's card this showcased every in color on it all of it all of the in color using this also see the dies and the bottom, the scallop, how pretty it is. Now we're going to flip around. So the bundle, remember, bundle, it's 10%. Okay. Um, Cynthia, I think, was it Cynthia? Lynch? Oh, gosh, I cannot remember. So she asked me what's going on with this. It's not, I she couldn't find it online. The etch in nature it's not available right now. It was something defective the way that it was stamping. We were not getting the image like it showed there. So they pull it out and it will not be available till they figure what was going on with that stamp set. So that is why if you try to order that, you can't. Okay. Now, um, Here's another um, 
sweet the hand pin it so that when you get um, the paper you get the stamp you get the the die and also you get the gem they show the gem right there here is a that is Kristen yeah Kristen this lovely car see how delicate that die is very pretty and do no oh that going the other paw so that's another suede one thing that i want to bring to your attention though you see every suede they give a color combo that's not the full list of the color in the designer series paper i'm going to share where we're going to find that though so this is just they pick a like the top color that go with that sweet and they put that in every sweet what's this one here that i forgot oh okay i'm gonna come back page back so that's what those color means so don't think that it's the color that coordinate with the designer series paper it is the color but it's a lot more okay so remember that it's more than what it's showing in this week now this year i cannot wait you know that i love to do a lot of background with a clear blog go in the ink and that well that's going to be awesome so if you get a detailed stamp like a flower and that and you're not a coloring person you can stamp that and that's distinctive ink stamp so it's going to give you different tone color even with just one color you can stamp like your flower or greeting on that especially a flower without coloring i cannot wait to get that moon i mean i got it here let me share with you that with all the trees and the scenery that i like to do oh my goodness see how cool that is love it now here is the stamp it's very rare very rare that we get a photopolymer in distinctive i think usually it's more in red rubber and look at that oh my goodness mm, yummy okay now we went back now we keep on going back okay now here's another example of the big background these are show at 45 percent now <clears throat> where is okay not this page so again the big butterfly this is just at 45 percent and the big daisy garden here's the igrangia that was in the mini catalog that was at the full size but over here it's just at 50 percent they show this bits and piece at the hundred but this is at 50 percent and again here you see this match with a die this match with a die they are all a different color here it's um oh size okay get that and this one over here, uh, it's the Quiet Meadow. I think that's going to be a popular one also. This is Tammy and the team that she did that for a color uh, challenge. It was the in color. See, she got pretty much every color except the pink on that. She got the vellum on this here and that green, uh, the uh, evening green. But see how pretty that is? So really, the only stamping on that is the greeting. See how lovely that is? And then this is Janie. She done uh, this one with that also. She used the gold uh, leafing on some of them. That's the bees that are not available right now. Remember that? But see how pretty? Now, talking about that sweet, I did something so this is this is the bags that you can get and it's the in color bag okay so if you like to do little gifts or so on see they all come in the in color well i thought hmm, 
what can I do with a bag that is not a bag? Well, this is what I done with a bag that's not a bag that became a car. Put it that way. So I'm running out of place here where to put my stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna put it there. If you hear crash, that's mean it's because I'm moving the stuff all around here. So I fold the bag in two and just right in two, okay? Just took the bag and I fold it this way. Just fold that in two. That's it. I didn't glue it. No glue at that. And then I, well, I glue it in on uh, evening, um, ev evergreen evening. And then I, first I tie it up with the ribbon, the soft succulent ribbon. I use that uh, from that die, put that there, those work, I stamp that, it's from this. Now this would be good, like maybe to send a little scrapbook to uh, your daughter, your son, or whatever, or you can do love letters in this. See, boom, get a card in here. So you can, and see what I use in the back? I use that lovely punch. I was determined to use that punch. I love that punch, love it. So that's like right in here. And then over here, I get another one. So, you know, for me, I think I would put some picture cause I'm not a writer. I, I, no, 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 no. I cannot write to save my life. <laughs> I would write a little bit, but that would be, and then I did it as a card also. But you can even do, uh, you know, not glue it all the way on your green, just decide and put another pocket there smaller. Talking about that, let me bring you the in color ribbon. You know, I grade my uh, ribbon by, um, easy uh, bow or friendly on bow or not. This is super friendly. It's stiff enough to hold a beautiful bow, but it's very soft at the same time to do a bow. So it fold very easy. Uh, no fuss with this ribbon. Uh, it don't slide, boom, et voila. Very, very friendly ribbon. It is a gorgeous ribbon. It's darker. See, you get the stripe beautiful so um you heard me before uh, you know when i say well this ribbon it's not the friendliest for a bow but it's good like for a strip in that this year it's awesome ribbon for a bow okay so now i shared that one also we're doing good. I don't know the time. I'm not, I don't care because I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys. If you have to go someplace, just go. You can come and watch later, but we're going to have door price here soon. Okay, so let's flip this over here. Step it up. So here is another one. Step it up. Here is one also with the dies. See how they show that with the dies. Okay, now I said when we're done with the stamps, we're going to do a door prize. So the first prize is the trash bin with the two pack of cards. Uh, the card kit, and not the card kit, but uh, so right now we're adding a drawing and it's for pack of the that's the in color of the, we still have those one the bumblebee and the jade and so on and the gold trim and then you got your little trash bin voila don't you love it i hope so so ollie gonna send me the uh, winner you know it's ollie at the other end i didn't even introduce her holly it's my uh my right hand when we do live well she's my right hand on many things but when we do live, she's the one that check all the comments and so on. Oh, she sent me a picture of a card. It's very, very pretty. Check that out. It's lovely. Okay, uh, I'm sure that was sent earlier today. Um, so she's going to send me the winner. 
and the winner going to win this. To get your prize, the minute we're done, you have to go at FrenchyStamps.com, and at the top, you're going to see Contact Me. Right there, you're going to click on that and send me your information because you have to be present to win. Okay, now one thing I want to point out throughout the catalog, you're going to see like those little pin there. That means read that, okay? Like this here, that uh, stamp set, what it's called, a spiral die. So you see the card, it's two colors. So they stamp it in the yellow once and they turn it 180. So the, the top go at the bottom and so on. And then they stamp it another color and boom. You get those two tones without doing really nothing extra special except flipping your paper. When you're going to do that, though, in between, you want to wash your uh, stamp. Or if you start with a very light color, then if you just wipe it a bit, then you go with the darker color, then you won't ruin your ink. So that would be one way to do it, okay? But if you get a big contrast in your color, you won't wash it, but you have to wash it when it's still on your stamparatus because you don't want to switch it area because you want it to stamp just right. Okay. And again, all those background stamps here, they're at 35%. Now, they talk a little bit about the angel policy. I want to bring that up a little bit. What is an angel policy? So all stamps set in the catalog are copyright for stamping up. All of it. So it's their copy, right? So if you want to do some cards and sell them, so if you give them away, write them, you know, send cards, you don't have to do that. But if you want to sell cards, you need to have the copyright. That's right here. That's the only stamp set that come in. I, I ask stamping up over and over, please sell just that stamp set, you know. It say the C up front and stamping up for the copyright. And it talk about the copyright right there. That's only if you sell your stamp set. Okay, we got a, a, a winner. Rita Schaefer. Congratulations, Rita. Please, when we're done, make sure to go at FrenchyStamps.com to send me your mailing address. It's Rita Schaefer. Now we're done with the stamp set. Now we go to the color and so on. So we're going to go on page 122-123. That's the, the two page that pretty much you get most of the things that uh, include the colors. Like you get the paper, you get the ink pad, you get the refill, and you get the blends. Two catalogs ago, we had a page just for the blends, and people's like, what? We don't have the blends anymore. We do have the blends. The blends are with the color right here. If you get aligned by it, that means you don't have the blends. So all of your color, you get the brights, the neutral, regal, subtle, the basic, and then you get the in color. Now, Let's say that it's nine ink pad that you plan to buy out of that. You might as well buy the old family if you turn this on page. Okay, keep that in mind. Then you get your storage here. And then the next page after that, that is the assortment and bundle. So you can buy the old bundle of the ink pad or 12 by 12 or eight and a half. But the ink, you're going to save 10%. The re-anchor, you're going to save 10%. And the marker here, you can buy just the family. You don't have to buy the full set at 123. You can buy the markers. That's not the blends, okay? The markers are the regular markers, like these markers. That's the marker. The blend, it's the blends. So you get, can buy the old family of ink pad, and you get 10%. The same with the re-anchor. 
The only thing that don't come in the like family uh, collection, the in color, you don't have the re -incur, so you're going to have to enter number by number. But if you want the full in color collection, don't enter one by one. Come over here and use by the ink pad right here because you get 10%. Because if you see 10 ink pad, uh, the ink pad are seven fifty, so ten would be seventy five dollars, right? Well, it's sixty seven fifty, so you're saving ten percent if you buy the bundle of the ink and the reinker. Now, let's say you're not sure of the color. You're not. You're like, well, I like this, this. If you are new and you're not familiar with stamping up color, my best advice, and I cannot say that enough it's instead of buying a full pack of poppy parade and you get it and you're like mm, it's not the red i want it i recommend that you buy this this column right here enter 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 all on your wish list why i say that it's because if you buy the brights you're going to get all this so you're going to get two sheets of each color, two of Poppy Parade, two Melon, whatever. The same with the neutral, the same with the regal, the same with the subtle. So that way you're going to know exactly which color you really like, and then you buy a full pack. So if you buy the assortment, you get two of each color of the bright neutral regal of, you know, each family. It, but the in color, you get four of each because, you know, it's just five color instead of 10. So you get 20 sheet and you still get 20 sheet, but you get going to get four of each color. Okay. Does that make sense? Here we go. Now we got new soft pastel. Cannot wait to get that. Just can't wait to get that. And the watercolor pencil. Now, the memory and more that I talked about earlier, here they are. You get three different packs. Now, you, we get the cards here. That's the end pennant, memory and more card and envelopes. Well, tonight, we're all playing with that. So here, what I done, and I'm gonna tell you why I absolutely love those cards. Uh, they come with the envelopes. They're a little bit bigger. Sometimes you want something bigger. So here is your card base. So that measure, it's four and a quarter by six, I think. So four and a quarter wide, but they're six and a quarter long. So we're going to do this tonight, but with the vellum there. I'm going to share a tip with that. See? And that's the one that I was sharing that. I use with this one here. That's the quiet meadow, I think. Is that the quiet meadow? Now I cannot remember. What is it called? It is called, yeah, the meadow. So we're going to use that. And I already pre-cut them, but I want to share the contour, the scala. They're not long enough, but I'm going to share how to expand that. Okay. So very, very simple card that I'm going to share, but at least we're going to do a bit of creative. So that is the card. Like I said, that is the card base. I already stamped there, so it's white inside. But they are sturdy. It's like the heavy with uh, basic white. They are heavy. They're not the thin. They're like strong. And then that is the card. See how fun it is? That's the envelope I mean that go with this. I I said I thought to go with the green and this color, but I'm like, I love Blackberry Bliss with the pool party, and I love basic gray, and I'm going with that. I don't even know if they're gonna remember when you, they open the card what it was matching or not. So the reason why I did it also, it's to share with you, you don't have to use just those color, right? And you can write the address. It's a regular stamp. It's a, a bigger envelope, but it's still a regular stamp as long as you don't add 50 pound card stock to it, right? Okay, so that's part of the memory and more. So if you look for those cards that we're gonna play playing with, it's on page 127. 
Now, the next you get, uh, you know, all the kind of what step it up in style, it's called. So you get the embossing powder, the, the tool, the paste, the mat, and then the funky ink that I call. So not our regular ink like the stays on the memento Versamark. It's on this page. And then it's right in the back of the DSP. So I remember I put my tag for DSP and I, I remember it's in the back of that. But you could put a tab here. If you get your tab, you can put step it up or uh, extra, whatever you want to call it. You get like your um, wink of Stella here. Oh, one thing that I want to bring up, they, the fine uh, tip glue, it's not in here, but it is still online store. So it's still available. Okay. It's they must have ran out of space or forgot about it or whatever, but this is still available. It's not over here, but still available, or it's not with the glue. And then you get your brush there. Now you get all the designer series paper. So remember what I told you, we get more color than what they show in the suite. All the color that coordinate with, it's all at the bottom of each designer series paper, all of it. Okay, so you get a lot more. I'm just going to show you the beauty because I know right here, see, you get one, two, three, four, five, six. And here you get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get nine color in that paper. So the suite, they just uh, share what is the main color of the paper that the most, I would say. But then here they list every color in there, they list it all. That go for all the paper. Now, when you see a specialty paper, that means you get like some gold or you can have some vellum to it. It got that extra texture pretty much to it, okay? And here it keep on going, all your paper. That's that sweet, elegant that I share, all that copper and so on. So that is a specialty paper. And now on page 134, you got the designer series paper. I call it the pattern paper. It come in every color. So you get the in color of the, uh, 2021, 2023, 2020, 2022. So you get, it's four different print, but remember it's two-sided. So it's two side and also in all the colors. So let's say if you buy... <clears throat> The brights, you're going to get all the brights and all those two prints. So you get, um, it's 40 sheet in each, and these one are 40 sheet also, but you get four sheet instead of the two sheets. So that's a great way to get all the colors, right? Now you get more specialty paper over here. You get the in color vellum. We still have the glimmer in the the rainbow we get more of the glitter paper so different the foil it's right here you barely can see the foil there it's right here and the pearlicin it's the number two but see number one it's kind of right in the edge of the thing so i'm afraid some people won't see it but we do have the copper and the gold that's the two color that we get in the foil it's right here on page 135 and uh, number two that's the perlison uh, thing but i got i don't know how many when the, they start getting the catalog they're like what you mean we don't let more foil it's right here at the edge okay now you get the basic paper that's going to be the envelope the white cardstock the vanilla cardstock and then you get the window sheet you get the linen i wanted to have something done for tonight and i did get enough time uh, so the linen paper it's really like a linen so what i cannot wait to play with that it's that watercolor stamp set if you touch that it's just like it feels like uh, linen but check this out Ta -da! it's sticky in the back 
so you can stamp die cut and so on with it and then to put on your card you just peel it up and it's sticky so if you watercolor you're gonna have to let it dry very good right but that oh 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 well i'm glad that's my cap long oh not bad at all not bad at all so that is the linen paper so so far did you learn something did you guys get something on your wish list am i doing an okay job and then you get all your envelopes here are the bags that i share see those little cute bag that i did the card it's right here on page 137 now you get cute little balls. I put, see this one right here, see how fun that is? And it's so simple, you just fold it. I mean, they come unassembled, you just fold it. Boom, boom, fold it down, down, put it there. But that can adjust. So let's say you get something taller, you can put it this way, or you can put it this way. You can put it longer see you can adjust that you could stamp around it so it would be easy to adjust these one are very cute too the scallop and then also it's super easy to assemble so you got those two so you, uh, the scallop that's your topper okay so you're gonna fold fold you can uh, glue that so it's going to be more solid there if you want here we go and then you fold fold then fold this press that there so that's going to be your bottom so that i would glue that because you don't want to grab that and if you put chocolate or if you put a candle in it you don't want it to fall and then this go at the top here see and that too you can push it higher a bit boom how simple and this is kind of a big uh, box right so i would add glue so it's more solid for the top especially the bottom the top because they won't pull it there anymore right okay so you get all the packaging here now you go to the ribbon and the trim and i already talked about the in color ribbon it's right here on page 139 oops did i move my catalog somebody is having some bacon wrap poppers man mm, i'm hungry now so you get again that's the ribbon now the embellishment that was the one with the one of the sweet the lattice that's what it is what did i forget it could be something very important that was another sweet here so that's the lattice you can buy that and i said 10 yep it is 10 piece and they're the craft paper i would think they're very strong there's the bumblebees or the bees whatever that are not available yet these are so cute that's what i put on one of the cards that i did for the color um, combo there see those little tiny flowers uh, so cute so it's nothing in the back so how do i uh, glue that i just glue that with glue dots and the tiny tiny one i use tumble glue that i just put a tiny bit of tumble glue the the liquid glue here and oh that was not close good and um that's how i glue them yep the wild sweet i didn't uh, i i didn't show all the sweet because we would be here a long time yep the wild sweet with the animal i didn't show that one neither and so here is more embellishment now here is again quite a bit here so we got um i got a, some that i wanted to bring your attention of course because of the stamp set after the storm see the raindrops i love the raindrops very very cute rain so you get raindrops you get the diamond shape and you get circle you get them in the clear and you get them kind of this 
silver or goldy thing that it's together now you got um yeah i use i'm almost done with the pack <laughs> that's the in color uh, kind it's a little bit thick it's different than a rhinestone i love it's kind of i don't know how to explain it so very fun so that's the in color so we got a new embellishment in there but the raindrop it's number 12 and just above it's the in color number 11. and then we still have uh, the goil uh, gilded leafing that carry over and we got brass that's you need that for that spinner card that i share i said i cannot wait to play with that now you got the the accessory like the stamparatus now you get the punch so what i love about the way they designed this catalog so you get all the punch bundle so remember the bundle you get 10 percent. so if you go to the end of the catalog you get all your bundles here with the punch you get the dragonfly the elegant tag the trees so on so all those one are offered in a bundle then you get the other punch so and it tells you right there remember if you want that 10 percent, you have to um the ribbon uh, in the in color how many yards i think you are correct i think it is 10 yards yes 10 yards yep 10 yards each so you get all your bundles here now you get all the other and remember you're going to have an end beside if it's new all of them been carry over now you get more tools over here that's your stamparatus your uh, pick tool embossing folder your paper cutter now you get the embossing uh, and die cut machine i want to bring your attention to two thing over here so number eight that is the impression mat still not available with covid i think they've been having problem getting that in it's been over here uh, that from the other catalog still not available but don't forget i share a video how to use your uh, silicone uh, mat that you can get an impression without this the magneted platform that is um uh, i don't it's not even in here they took out the magnetic platform completely so i don't know if they're going to bring back the magnetic platform because it was not producing the way it was supposed to be okay but this is still not available tonight we're going to use the adhesive sheet and this is right here, number nine on nine on page 153. Now you get all the embossing folder. And again, you're going to see an end beside where they're new. Now you're going to see the mini emblem if they fit in the mini machine. It's the same that my logo or my logo, my uh, labels I put, you know, on the embossing machine if they fit in the mini. But you can look in the catalog. I should point out also, oh, it's the next page. I was ahead of me. Now you get the bundles of with dies. So it tells you on which page to. The same with the punch. It's going to tell you which page that you can see it. So they show you the bundles with the dies. It's quite a bit of bundles at 10%. Still again, more. So that was uh, the while somebody asked about the while uh, sweet. It was on page uh, 45. That's the die that matched that. And this is the, the one that go with the lattice. And one thing I want to share to you, you're going to see the M or the, the little mini by it if they fit in the mini. When you get the mini by it, that means all and all dies in this set all fit in it. If you don't see the M like this one, that means it's at least one die that don't fit in the mini. Some of it can fit in the mini, but at least one of those die, you need the big machine for it. 
I hope that help you understand why those things are there. And now here's the die. Now, this lovely die here, you're going to see that quite a bit with uh, my stamp set, of course. And I think I got coin here, do I? Hmm. See that beautiful stamp, that die? It go perfectly with this, very lovely. But also, that's what I use. The video for this card here, it's coming up next week, I think. See my background, that eye sponge that look very lovely for uh, clouds? I cut one of that and use it as my uh, mat, um, mask to do my clouds. That is very lovely. So... Um, so you get all the dies they give you the measurement so that's not the true size this is the give it a whirl that's the one that you can spin you know with the brass and write different message that it's on page 163 and that's the larian uh dior diorama that it's right here on page 163 that you see a lot of that in the catalog, catalog throughout the catalog here we go, all the dies. So again, they show you if they fit in the mini and so on. Now you get all the adhesives. So that's where I should have talked about the fine tip glue. It's not in here, but it's still available, okay? You're going to find it on the online store. The silicone mat, it's right there. And then about joining Stamping Up, right now, if um, you get to choose 155, it's always a great time to join. But because um, you get to choose 125 and you pay $99 and it's shipped to you for free. So you get $26 more. Right now, the month of May, you get to choose 155. So you're getting $56 more than what you pay. It's no string attached. It's no... Uh, Nothing scary, okay? So you can go at frenchystamps.com right at, above. I get Q&A for joining my team. And you pick anything that you want, except you cannot pick the hostess set. But anything all the way up to 155 you cannot go a dollar over and say you're going to pay the difference. It won't let you. So it is always a great time, but right now you're getting $155 of product for $99. It's shipped to you for free, another 10% uh, discount, and they include a paper pumpkin in that. So another $22 value. Cannot beat that. Here it's what they call O's and Earn. I'm going to do something in my catalog tonight. I went through, write the page. It's a big X on that, okay? Put a big X. You don't have to owe. Any order of 150 and above, you're going to get the stamping rewards right here. So one, that's before tax and shipping. You're going to get 10%. So let's say you place an order of 150 You're going to get $15 of anything you want. Or you can choose the stamp set. Again, they're not at the true size. 60%, uh, 60, 60. This paper here, it is 48 sheet of 12 by 12. One side, it's black and white. One side, very colorful. The only way you can choose what's on those two pages, 170 and 171, it is with an order of 150 and above. So remember, it's not just for O's, it's all orders. So that's why I don't want you to put the host code when you order it's over 150. So then you're going to get the rewards. You're still going to get my customer appreciation and you're going to get that. Or you don't have to just choose this. You can choose anything in the catalog for your rewards, but these are the only way you can get them. Okay.
Right now, for the month of May till June 14, though, it's good till June 14. If you order it's $250 and above, you're getting an extra $25 in the stamping reward. So let's say an order of $250, it would be 10%. At $300, it go at 12%. So let's say $250, it's 10%. You get a $25 regular of stamping rewards. And right now, stamping up, give an extra 25 so if you place an order of 250 you're getting 50 dollars of free product of your choice so it's two great promotion you can join my team get 155 and pay 99 dollars or if you go above here you get that that's year round here the 25 dollars it's still june the extra 25 but the stamping rewards it's any time that you order it's above the 150. that's wrap it up for the catalog we get the index for the stamps at the end and then you get the accessory here if you're not sure before you go let me share with you a quick card if you guys want to stick, it wouldn't be stamping without, and my dog been outside, I put them outside, because yesterday I was at the meeting, and somebody needed to go wee-wee, and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's so professional, wait a minute, my dog need to go wee, okay, so I bet they're waiting for mama, right, and so I'm using those cards, that's in the memory and more, remember I shared that, uh, the stamp set, that's the one that I love a big greeting sometimes. So the biggest wish. So I put Hello Friend. See, I put those little diamond there. Hello Friend. This one, i just going to put Hello. Oh, I had something, something. What the heck I had here? Oh, I'm going to put an embellishment there. All is good. So I, got, I just put the Hello there. That's big wishes. Now... I'm using, where is it? Oh, here it is. So I wanted to use the vellum on that. I thought, oh, the vellum is going to be so good. But you see, the vellum don't coordinate. I mean, it's not long enough. And that is from this die, this color contour. Well, if you use a regular card, it is perfect. But those cards are bigger. See, it fit perfect on the regular card. It's the perfect size. Well, let me show you how to enlarge that. So what we're going to do, I went here, put that at the bottom, and I want my border right there. So it's two scallop, but I need one more to glue. So I'm going to cut at the three. We're going to cut this at the three more, uh, the, the third scallop. So I just want to put that on my paper cutter. One, two. You know what? I'm going to go at four. I'm going to go at four. I think that's going to be better. So now I get two piece. Now, <clears throat> we're going to build our flowers though before we assemble. So what I'm going to do is take this. And we're going to use, never mind if it's sure or not, because it's going to get covered. I'm just going to put that at the bottom. Whoops. And we're going to put that on our card here. And it's easy to align because you just align that with your polka dot. So you know you're straight. Okay. Now we're going to do the other one here. Now this one, again, I'm going to align that with my polka dot. So easy to align. Now, I die cut already because I know I, I kept you here long tonight. But And like I said, I use, um, I pre-cut this here. Here we go. That's the quiet middle. And then I'm going to pull this out. I should have done that before. Who's in a rush? Are you guys in a rush? Somebody need to... Here we go. Here we go. And it's better if I just... Ah. 
I like when it's little details like that. I like to. Uh, where is it stuck? Here we go. I like to use this because it helps so much. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is do my basic gray. So let's peel that up in its section of three. Oh, here's one. And here we go. Okay, usually when you peel them up, even the bits and pieces all come off. This one is, here we go. Okay, now we're going to take that and I'm going to put that in my vellum here. I'm going to put that right here. Voila. Now I'm going to take the big one here. Here we go. And I'm going to put this one sideways a bit because I got another one. I'm going to put that one longer than the leaves. Et voila. Now this one's going to have to get trimmed. I know this one's going to be too long because I, I want it lower. So let me... Oh, Here we go. See, it pulled the little piece right away. You don't have to worry about them. Okay, now this one here, I want it lower, so I'm just going to rip that. That's it. Yep, that's right, Ollie. Now I'm going to put that. Oh, you know what? One minute. We're going to take this. We're going to put that, that right here. So that's four and a quarter, and that's one and a half four and a quarter by one and a half and oh it was in front of me silly me we're going to put that right here now i'm going to put this one over here Oh, I still have a little, here we go. And I know that's too long, so let me chop it off. Chip, 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 voila. Oh, I want that there. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're going to put our grating on the top of this. See, I had stamped that, but I just want the yellow. And now we're going to bring some bling here. Oh. Here, let me bring some bling. Mm. Oh. I'm going to use... Next one meter. One minute. We're gonna find something that's gonna go. Okay, I got a few left over. That's still in the catalog. The holiday rhinestone, and we got that. Uh, pool, uh, the pool party and that. See, I put that there. I really like that. So remember, I got a pookie there. So, ta, took care of that. And now I'm going to go here. And then it's kind of that reddish there. Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to, it's, it's not red. I'm going to keep the blue.
here we go. And do I have a little one left on this? Okay, I got some here. And we're going to come here. That's it. I'm not adding on those big flowers. Et voila! How about that? So now, did I go and cock eye here a bit? Here we go. So now you get your scallop plenty long for your card. Is that cool? Love it, love it. Here we go. So what you think of those cards? Is that pretty? I think those cards are so pretty. Uh, the background like that. There. I mean, you don't have to do much. Boom, it's done. And yeah. So yes, those die here, those fly um, are all part of the metal die. Yes, yes, yes. And the stamp set, I got it right here. That's the quiet metal, and that's also what I use with the bag right here. So I use that over here. Those I I love background like that, that you can add bits and pieces. Love it. So one thing that it's on my desk that I didn't share that I won't share because it's screaming at me right now. See those uh, labels or uh, tags? Ah, I love it, love it. I lost my catalog, here it is. So those tags are a new set of die and you know, if it's a die that I already use, you know that, because I'm not a die person, I'm a punch person. But that set of die, oh my goodness, it, love it. Let me share. I don't even know the name of it. I just know they get me excited. It is on page 166. Uh, it's Taylor Made Tag. I absolutely love that. Let me share. So it's four sides of each. So you get like, I call it the square top. See, I've been using them like crazy. So you're going to see a lot of that on my side. And then you get the rounded. But see, you get the little round put at the top. And here they kind of the F move. So um, I had done all those big background. And I'm like, oh, what I would do with that? So I decide, oh, I'm going to cut that off I mean die cut that and see so that's like the uh, vellum with the blends or the alcohol and I just stamp the greeting but you see you get the little circle there and here that's the square or the half moon and they all stitch all of it stitch Here we go. I'm trying to read the comment there. Here we go. So that's another thing that mm, I like it. So we're going to have the last drawing here. So um, the last drawing is, oh, the, the light changed a lot in here. Um, it is the the kit here so you see can you see all the mess now i kept on pushing my mess it's cover i mean it grab here grab there but we got it done um it is the all-inclusive kit hello dear friend so you get the card kit all the stamp set the ink and the dimensional and the twine so, the lucky winner is, that made me laugh, because, you know, I don't pick, and it's Cindy, L-E-R-C-H, she's the one that reminded me for the nature stamp set, so, uh, I think it's her, so you still have to email me your address, because sometimes I get some people similar name and so on 
So uh, Cindy, L-E-R-C-H. So email me or email me or go on my blog at FrenchieStamps.com. It's the uh, contact me right there. And also Rita uh, Schaefer. I think that was it. Um, yeah, Rita Schaefer. I think she's a regular customer, but I'm not sure if that's the one. So you guys need to, plus you need to be present for uh, to win uh, the thing. Oh, the color is terrible because you know you start and you get the daylight and then it's no daylight and it's like what okay well i hope you enjoy this because i really enjoy presenting the catalog and showing you and i could go on and on i know it's a lot of stuff i didn't share i mean we would be here for days so tell me what you think don't forget um, to get the labels to organize your product it's just with an order of uh, 60, um, not 60, an order of um, $20 with the hostess code. It's 6CCDQAAQ. You do not need that hostess code if you order it's over 150 If you join my team, you get all the customer appreciation uh, monthly part of the team. It's a team effort. We work together as that you don't have to do nothing you can join the team and just sit back or you can participate in the swap or so on whatever floats your boat we accept you all so i guess that is it and to place your order just visit me at frenchystamps.com thank you so much holly thank you for uh, watching all the comment and answering that till next time Happy stamping. If you follow me on Facebook, I will be live there tomorrow doing a very quick card with that pretty paper that get me so excited, that watercolor look. So see you, my friends.